What is up YouTube? Nick Hernandez here aka The Android Guy from AndroidUnite.com and today we're checking out a launcher for the for uh, any actually type of smartphone or uh, tablet that you may have and um, ooh, the screen turned off sorry about that just for a little bit um, that you may have and uh, two things I want to say before we get started is first of all the the launcher is really cool. I'm digging it a lot, um, but the only problem is that it's still in beta as of right now, as of you know this little thing we're doing, and uh, the cost is seventeen, almost seventeen dollars uh, for this launcher, uh, which is, I find a little ridiculous. But it is such a cool launcher that I didn't want to pass it up and show you guys. Um, but I think the total price I paid was like sixteen dollars and eighty cents. But, uh, I don't know. I'll let you guys decide what you want to do. So, anyway, um, this launcher is called TSF Launcher, or TSF Shell, or Shell 3, or something like that. Um, actually, let's go ahead and just look real quick, because it's going to bother me, the real name, or the actual name for it. So, uh, TSF, 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 yeah, TSF Shell, uh, yeah, TSF Shell, as you can see in the uh, Google or the uh, Google Play Store. So, anyway, um, before we get started, just want to show you guys um, a, a few things. Um, I am actually running Android 4.1.1 on my HTC Sensation, um, so it kind of actually goes a lot better with uh, this version, and just makes it look you know cleaner and smoother and and a lot of things so um just wanted to point that out real quick that uh, if you do have a jelly bean device this actually goes with it really well so anyway um let's go ahead and get started um first off you have one no i'm sorry you have one two three four five six home screens which you can add more uh, and you can also say, for example, I'm going to go to this one right here. Okay, We can also add another home screen just by hitting that button right there. Um, so you can go on for, I think it's up to 10 or something like that. So, um, Or say, this is my home screen right now, but I want, let's say, this one to uh, be my home screen. So you would just go ahead and hit that home button up there. And that is your now your new home screen. So... Um, anyway, you guys get the idea of that. So, this whole idea right here is they call cards. Um, and uh, you can scroll through your home screens instead of the usual, you know, uh, swiping your finger across the screen. You just use the cards to uh, go to the different home screens. Now, this one right here is actually in control of your apps. It's your app drawer. Instead of actually pushing a button at the bottom, you have this... Um, uh, this card right here, as you can see, to do your uh, your apps and stuff like that. What I like about this and how they did this was you can actually um, do different uh, transitions to so say I want to do this one, or I want to do that one, or I want to do this one, or I want to do that one, or this one. I actually have a hard time deciding whether this one or this one is the coolest. I'm not sure, but I'm going to stick with this one for now because it seems to catch my eye and uh, you can also adjust it um, by alphabetical order which if I can get that uh, thing slid open right here there we go alphabetical order uh, the date that it was installed or the last date that was installed so you can do it by time as well so and then the last one is just your settings for it. Uh, uninstall the app, view hidden apps and so on so um, that's the app section, which I think is pretty cool. As you notice, there's no widget section, but we will actually get to that in a second. And there is something under my phone that's making a crackling noise, and it was bothering me. Sorry for that. Anyway, okay, so let's just go back to the home screen. And as you can see, here's my little daughter. My, she's about four months old, and there's a little widget you can make to where you can add little little pictures and post it on the the uh, the home screen and and so on. But we're actually going to create our own home screen, so we're going to start on this one. So you would hold the button down, okay? Choose your widgets. 
then it's all going to pop up right here, just like your normal, you know, everyday widget thing. So let's see, I would want, hmm, let's say I want a news and weather widget. No, actually, I don't want the news and weather widget. I take that back. Let's do, and by the way, to get to that menu, all you do is press and hold down your finger. Let's say, oh, man, I don't know why I'm taking so long to decide. Uh, help me pick something. I don't know. Digital clock. Okay. So we're going to set this one right here. And you also have the option to resize it just like you would in, you know, your standard ice cream sandwich or jelly bean or whatever. So, and uh, let's say we want to customize it a bit. So we're going to pull out this menu right here. As you can see, it has a little box with the pre-installed widgets from the theme. Uh, you can do, let's say, a memo. Okay, we'll go ahead and open that up. Now we can draw something and say, uh, let's say, um, let's draw a little Android. Boop, boop. No, those antennas are kind of small. Boop, 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 boop. Looks more like a cat. Okay, we're gonna say this is Miss Kitty. Yeah, okay. Not doing that. Let's do another one, shall we? Or you can also make this as a note, say, uh, get milk. Okay, so all you do is hit the check mark after that. Your post it is up there, and it's a little reminder or something, or whatever you guys want to do. You know, I'm not telling you what to do, I'm just, you know, you little post it. So, throw that in the corner, we'll delete it because it looked ugly. So, another widget they have is the weather widget, which is pretty cool. Um, actually, it already exists, so we will go back. And uh, just so you guys can see right here, we'll just point it out. Um, I'm actually not in Paris, California. So, let's update that. Okay, now what does it say? Uh, Lake Elsinore, here we go. Lake Elsinore, California. Now, it's going to display the next three days of uh, weather, the current temperature, and also has this cool little animation. Yes, it is nighttime, so it has a moon. In the daytime, it will do a sun. So, we'll go ahead and hide that for now. And then, um, let's go back to our custom thing. So, another thing was, see these little pin drops right here? that little pin drop you can also do animations that slide across so say let's have this TSF airship we're gonna drag that and have that okay that widget already exists um, we'll go ahead and show you real quick I think I have it right where do I have it ah, right here okay TSF little balloon pretty cool but uh, let's anyway let's go back here and uh, next one we went, let's do the, the ghost ghost is pretty cool so all you do is hold long press and then all it is gonna do is just drag across the screen now um, you can when you're done expand them so you say you hold it and I want to put that over here or I hold this and I want to bring this up more over here okay and maybe I don't want the pumpkin after all so so I grab the pumpkin and throw it in the trash and you know just it's it's nice little cool little things now if you saw that picture with my daughter all I did was go to pendant, pendant right here, hold that, stick that on here, and then it'll bring you up to your gallery. So since my daughter went to the pumpkin patch the other day, we are going to adjust this and bring it right there. So now you can see a little picture. You can play around with it, just move it back and forth and stuff. I mean, it's, it's, it's really cool. Um, just the amazing stuff you can do right here. So, And then also is just your settings. Um, change the icons, you know, gestures and stuff. And they also have little shortcuts to turn on Wi-Fi, which I should turn on, actually. Uh, the ringer, airplane, Bluetooth, and so on. So it's a nice little menu right there. Just gives you the, uh, the uh, nice little contrast and stuff. So next off, I'm going to show you something. Say we want apps on here. Okay, so let's go to our widget box. And throw a couple folders out here and there we go okay what I like about this is just how smooth it is and how easy it is 
to get everything you want. So say let's like make a game folder, okay? So we're going to grab, all you do is double tap, so you see the green arrow. We're going to grab all the games we can find right here. Minecraft, Grand Theft Auto, N64, what else is there? Sonic. Yeah, that should be enough. Okay, so what we're going to do is now that we have them all, we just hold it on, press it down, and now we have them all. We're going to bring them to this screen right over here. And as you can see, it's in a nice little organizing bubble, you can call it. So we're going to grab this and say, okay, we have these apps right now. You can directly put it into the folder, or you can do something called a lasso, which all you do is grab them all, gather. And we're just going to throw them all. Well, now it's not going to do it. Because when you want things to do it, it doesn't do it. Ah. <laughs> wow. Thanks for not doing it for me. Making me look like an idiot. Oh, let's not do that. Okay, let's grab... Okay, well... You guys get the idea for that. It's not going to work right now. So let's throw some games in here. Like this one. This one. This one. Throw them all in the folder. And let's try the lasso thing again. One more time. Because it will bother me. So multiple choice. Hold. There we go. And they're all in that folder now. So now that we have this folder open, let's go ahead and name it. A different name let's go ahead and do games okay so now that that's open games is there so now whenever we want to access the games we just open that folder and there it is okay so say we want to grab it one at a time there is a way you can well I'm actually not sure how it how you do it. Oh, okay, so you hold down and, and hold it. So now you can drag all the apps out and decide, hmm, which game do I want to play? Let's do um, N64. Okay, and now that app just loads right up. So it's an easier way to access the uh, the folders and um, it's it's it just makes life a lot easier this way. So um, thought that was pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and move this down here and let's gather more apps over here it does get kind of you need you still need to get used to it so um, let's say I want this one right here we'll move this folder to our new home screen right over here and then we will grab this now another thing you can do is it was I like about it is um, like decorating your uh, your your uh, screen top and your icons and stuff so I'm going to put this right here, however, I'm going to use my other finger and tilt to where now the icon's kind of tilted, okay? So, that gives it a nice little cool effect as well, which uh, which I find pretty cool also. So, I think this pretty much covers it. Uh, we just did the cards, the apps, the home screens, uh, the widgets, and uh, and so on. So, but if I do think of anything else, I will go ahead and do another video but I'm pretty sure this about covers it so if you have any questions uh, please let us know leave uh, leave a comment we will get back to you as soon as we can and um, and if you actually if you do have the app let us know how you like it let us know how it's working out for you because um, in my opinion it's a wonderful launcher it really is however $17 kind of uh, Kind of on the little expensive side for my taste, but um, you know, it's 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 people's choices, I guess. So, anyway, um, thanks again for watching, you guys, and uh, we hope that you all have a great night. And uh, please be sure to follow us on Twitter at Droid Unite, and uh, please like this video. It would help us help us out a lot. And again, anything you need. Just let us know in the comments. Alrighty, you have a great night, guys. Thanks.